you can, you can jump into it. But it's a tight loop punch. See, a lot of people use their arm. That's how I broke my hand on this. Probably wrong. I went like this. And up uh, here. If you want to be in tight, just like a straight leg, it's all hips. It's just like swinging a baseball bat. You want everything in tight. So my power is here. I want to keep this hand. You want to release that punch from as close as you can to your chin. So from here, and then elbow up and shot, put it out. Right there. These two knuckles are on the spot. So yeah, the best, the best way is to roll and then come into it. You roll and then I'm, I'm right here. Jump right into it. Just like a best way to throw across and sometimes roll back. Step it back in. Roll forward. Look here. Same thing if I'm here and I want to create a new angle. You know, I step, but I'm punching as I step down and you want to stomp down on the hook. And you can even use it as like a to set up your right hand, where I'm actually kind of jumping away from you to create this new angle. Nice. Talk to us about that, that pivot where you're catching it. Yeah, all, all footwork, you try to land the punch, but it's more, so, it's more so to set up the right. So I'm here, and I'm stepping right to create a new angle. I'm here, step, So talk about angle. You got the biggest, the biggest one is that I like it thrown after a cross. So you throw a cross, I've cocked this shoulder. So you throw from here. You gotta cock that shoulder back, so it's real good to cross. You know, it's the core of my body, up, and now I can jump into it. Do you ever just pull off the inside slip? I actually want to knock that check mark and pop my hand out there. I just pot it, pot it, pot it, but all I have to do is sit in the right. So, yeah, you somehow have to get your shoulder cocked back. Another real good way of doing it is fakes. I want you, everybody respects this right hand, you fake the right. Right there, you don't even have to throw it. Right All I'm doing is rotate my shoulders. Hey, right there. Same thing with the cross. I'm going to throw my cross out here. Turning right into it. Nice. Talk to us some more about the other things that you use while fighting uh, skilled opponents. You got the best way to fight is with the right, because people expect me. You got to you got to make people think. You got to make yourself think you're going to throw. I got to think I'm going to throw it right. Change the levels. Throw it here. Change the levels. Throw it here. Then I change levels. Come you got you got to be you got to be so convinced that you think you're actually going to do it. How much do you loop with your overhand punch? I only do that when I when I uh, change levels like that. I really like changing levels here. Hit that body, hit my body, and then I change levels here and I come up to the top there. Are you leaning at all when you're down there, or yeah. you just drop straight down? Yeah. Why don't you uh, hold that point first of contact, and I'll see if I can touch your head with my other hand to see if you're out of range. As I'm changing levels. No, I, yep. Out of range. Yeah, nice. Awesome, man. Um, one last thing. Can you show us a few uppercuts? That's my favorite punch, the uppercut. Uppercuts, yeah, I like those guys. Uppercuts, and who's good at doing it is Chuck Liddell coming back. With, you know, he did get knocked out by uh, Rashad. Rashad, he's using an uppercut but, when you he's throwing the overhand, yeah. One of them was going to get knocked out, but it's the same thing. It's a real quick with, with your hips in. Too many people do this. You don't, you don't want to get that chin too far away from your body. If you want to cock back and throw that uppercut, bring your body down with it. Bring your body so you have your hips to explode it back up. Nice. So it's here, it's not here. I mean, I'll do as hard as I can. That's all hard. It's not going to hurt me as bad as if I'm here. Push my hips. Nice. So you drop your hips a little bit before you shoot the uppercut? Absolutely, yeah. Talk to us about the lead side weapon with the uppercut. Lead side here? Yeah, how do you get that? That one's actually longer. I use that one when I'm. You know, because this hand's out here. So I'll use that one more as a setup. To where I'm here, you know, you're come back on it. Nice. I use my right one as a power when we're in here in combat. But I use the left. I use the left more so because you can get longer. So it's not as much power because I'm getting away from my body. Do you, uh, do you um, throw it naked, mainly not off the jab? Straight up. I like throwing, yeah, like three lefts. I like going like jab, hook, uppercut, and big run. Jab, hook. With the same right. hand. One, two, three, left, four. Left, left, left. Diaz is good at that kind of stuff too. Using that left, left, weapon. Left, left. Hooking off the jab, or cutting off yeah. the jab. Let's see some of that. So it's, it's jab, hook, hook, bang. Oh, right, let's see that combination. And you do step a little bit on each one. Get a little bit of power. And step to target. It's all for the. It's all for and what about after that? Are you going to get out of the way? Are you going to pivot and try to double jab, or are you going to try yeah. to get out of the way or finish it? If you haven't hurt me, you just come in. I like finishing out something like that. A four punch combo with the kid. And I like I like coming here. And then, um, he's got the technical edge. I got to get a hold of him. 
I can't get hit as much. I definitely got to move around and set up my power. Kind of like Diaz, uh, who you're much more powerful, obviously, but... Uh, I didn't move. Yeah. See, I, when I threw a punch, you knew it was coming. How are you going to actually take the fight to Kong and make it... So I've, I've changed my training. I've changed my training big time with okay. my Muay Thai coach and my boxing coach. It's actually gotten to the point where my Muay Thai coach told me that the commentators don't say that Oh, we have a new fighter. It's not the totally new fighter that you're going to put coaching. He's sick of Good. Does that, does that mean that when you're in the center of the ring, you're not going to shuffle in and step in? You're actually going to move back a little and show different angles? Yeah, yes. Yeah, showing different angles, moving, using the feet a little bit more, moving around. Nice.